crossfade by parameter is a sound cue node used for layering sounds at deferred times. It allows you to set the value at which the audio files will start to fade in each input and when they will eventually fade out. As it happens for other nodes such as branch, crossfade by parameter is receiving values from blueprint and it does so by using a parameter name identifier which in this case I decided to name tutorial. If we move in the blueprint editor we'll see that I'm using a simple timeline that can be triggered by pressing E on the keyboard. Inside the timeline I generated a float track of 5 seconds which is producing as output values from 0 to 1. The float value is sent to a set float parameter which has the same name identifier wrote inside crossfade by parameter. The target of set float parameter is ambient sound 8 and in my case it's the ambient sound which contains the sound cue in which I've placed the crossfade by parameter node. Inside crossfade by parameter you can see under crossfade input an array of three elements. Each of them corresponds to the audio files I decided to use. Before diving into the crossfade by parameter settings, make sure that your audio file is looping, otherwise crossfade by parameter won't work. Inside the node we see that we have fade in start and fade in end values. I decided to set the first one at 0 and 0 0.25 so the first uh, audio file will start at value 0 and N it's fading in at 0 0.25. Because I don't want the audio file to fade out, I wrote a number such as 1.01 .01, which the timeline will never produce since its maximum level is set to 1. And here in the last setting you can set the volume for each audio file. Now let's jump in the game and have a listen to the final result. <laughs> 